first of all, my name is Cole Wilson. I'm with Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. I appreciate you joining in today. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked and shared the post on our Facebook page, Grilling and Chilling with Coleman, then you had an opportunity to win the Instant Read Thermometer. And this is actually the one that I use. Uh, love it. I've got it out in my outdoor kitchen. Uh, so we had a total of 33 people that liked and shared the uh, post and did a random drawing, got an app on my phone, did a random number. Number 10 is the one that won. So the winner for the Instant Read Thermometer is Carol Schilling uh, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. So Carol, if you'll uh, send me your address, I will, uh, I'll get this shipped out to you uh, first thing Monday morning. So I appreciate you liking and sharing that post. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be making our redneck margarita glasses. I did some, some looking on eBay and I noticed that these things are actually for sale on eBay. I don't know if you can see that, but they're actually on sale on eBay for uh, 20 bucks a piece. So I'm gonna show you today how, we, how I make these and how to do it for around $2. Um, it all started with uh, this margarita glass here, this redneck margarita glass. Uh, my mom actually bought that one for me several years ago and gave me that for Christmas. Uh, mom has since uh, passed on last year, uh, so I still like to drink out of, out of my, my first one that I use. And it's a little bit different than what I'm going to show you today, but these are what we're going to be making today. These are my redneck margarita glasses, and they're a little different. If you notice, there's a little color down here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little color down here. And it helps when you have larger groups to have different colors so that everybody knows which one is there. So we're going to be making those today. Let me set these off to the side. Now the first thing we're going to look at is let's look at what we're going to need to, to make our redneck margarita glasses. The first thing you're going to need is a, is a mason jar. Now mason jars come in a lot of different styles and sizes and different sizes of mouse. So let's take a look at a couple. Now this is a standard mason jar that we've probably all seen, and it's got a standard opening in the top. And let's compare that to, okay? See the difference? So these are the wide mouth glasses, and these are the standard mouth glasses. If you know anything about canning, there's a difference in those two. So uh, whichever one you choose, go with it. Now, I personally like the wide mouth. Um, I use them for margaritas, and I like the salt. So I like a little bit more salt on my margarita. So I use the wide mouth glasses. Now, don't limit yourself to a certain style. Um, you might use some smaller uh, mason jars, different sizes. Here's a, a, a jelly jar that you can use. It's got a diamond pattern on the outside of it. Here's one, it's an old fashioned jar. It's got some artwork on the side. That would look pretty cool. And it's also got the, uh, the wide mouth on it. Now. If we look at different sizes, this is a larger. If we look at that and compare that to the smaller ones, this is a little bit larger, okay, compared to compared to these. Or you can go with something short and sweet with a wide mouth on there. This would be great for wine or maybe as a little uh, shot glass. And then last one I want to show you is uh, this one. So I went to a brewery. I love going to microbreweries all over the country. Went to a microbrewery uh, in Atlanta, Georgia several years ago, and it's called the Jekyll and Hyde Brewery. And they actually serve their beer in a mason jar, which I thought was kind of cool. And it would be kind of neat to make one uh, out of a, a, an advertising jar. So if you've got a favorite jar that you like and that you like to use, uh, feel free to use it. Now what we're going to be using today is I'm gonna be using these jars. And why did I choose these? Because they're exactly the same as the ones that were on eBay for 20 bucks a piece. And I buy those from Walmart. So they come in a four pack. And this four pack was about five bucks, I think is what I paid for these. And these are a four, they're, they're pint jars, but they're short, but they're not your standard pint jars. They've got the swelling and the rounding around the edge, and I just really like the looks of those and how they turn out. So we're gonna start off with our mason jars. Second thing we're gonna need is our candlestick holders. These are the candlestick holders that I chose. This candlestick goes right here in the middle. 
Those are the ones that I like and the reason I went with those is they're exactly the same as the one on eBay except for one thing. This one has a round bottom and this one has an octagon bottom. There's a little bit of difference between the two. But otherwise they function exactly the same. I picked these up at Dollar Tree and they were a dollar a piece. So uh, go on by your local Dollar Tree, not Dollar General, not the Dollar Store, but Dollar Tree is the only place that I've found that has these. Okay. So you can pick those up for a dollar a piece. Now one thing I did yesterday is I actually went over to Walmart and I found a little different candlestick holder. It's a little more delicate, okay. but I thought it would look really neat with a smaller glass on there. Okay. So if you put that on the bottom, you have a little smaller glass. So don't limit yourself on just the ones that I'm using. Go out and look for different. I bought these at Dollar, I think I bought them at Walmart for about a dollar a piece as well. So don't limit yourself on the size of candlestick or the height. Matter of fact, uh, my wife and I have decided we're gonna make some special redneck margarita glasses for just her and I. So we chose these candlesticks, okay? Notice the size difference between those two. This one is about four inches tall, and this one is about eight inches tall. We also chose to go with a little different glass. So these are the jars that we're gonna be using, and these have the same shape as the bottom. So later today, I'm gonna to be making a couple of those, one for me, and she wanted the smaller one on top. So I'll be making those later today for, uh, for her and I. But today we're just going to stick with the standard mason jar and the candlestick holder. So what else do we need? We need uh, some glue. Now, this is the glue that I like to use. It's called E6000. It is a waterproof glue. It, you can heat it up, you can put it through the dishwasher. I bought this at the Dollar General store. I was really surprised they had it there, but they did. And this was about $2.50. And, and this tube of glue will probably make 30 glasses. So you can make quite a few with just this standard. They sell this at Walmart. Um, you can also get it at an automotive store, but it's the E6000 glue. And that's the one that I use. And that's the glue that we're going to be using today. The next thing we're gonna look at is I do something a little different with my glasses. If you notice, if you make the glasses like this, there's no differentiating between one glass or the other. And we have groups sometimes here at the uh, Grilling and Chilling Kitchen of about 50 people, and you get a bunch of these out there, you forget whose is whose. So one of the things that I do with mine is I like to color the center section. I don't know if you can see the red in there. I color the center section. And what do I do that with? I do it with glitter. Okay, I use different colors of glitter. They come in different sizes, different colors. Okay, so I use glitter on mine. Um, I picked up this five pack of glitter here at Dollar General for a dollar and 50 cents. So that's enough to do five margarita glasses. They have it in different colors, different shapes, different quantities. I think I paid $2 for this at Walmart. Or here's some little stars you could put in there. Okay, they're little glitter stars, so you can drop those in there and get a little different look. Uh, they also have neon colors. So if, you've, if you're gonna be making a bunch of these, go down and get several different colors, shapes of, of glitter. Um, I've also done this in the past. I've taken some uh, water-based paint and I've painted the inside of the, uh, of the candlestick holder and then glued the jar on top so it gave me a solid color on the inside. Just gives it a different look. The next thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little simple level. This is the one that I use, real simple, real light, real small, and I just use it to make sure that everything's on the top once I have it glued. Next, you're gonna need some alcohol swabs. Now, with all this mess going on with, uh, with uh, COVID-19 and the coronavirus, these things are almost impossible to find. Uh, alcohol swabs, rubbing alcohol is something that is disappeared from the stores within the last month and they're almost impossible to find. So a little hint on that, go to the eyeglass section. I bought these in the eyeglass section yesterday at Walmart. They had boxes of them. There's a box of 50 of them that I bought and I think I paid two or three dollars for those. So if you're needing some alcohol swabs for some other things, 
go to the eyeglass section. You can find them there. They had plenty of them there for me. So we're going to use these alcohol swabs to just clean up all the glass, make sure all the oil is off of there so that the glue sticks better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our candle candlestick holder and I'm going to open up, I'm going to use the gold glitter on this one. I'm just going to pop open the glitter, take the top off of it and drop it right in. It doesn't fill it up all the way, but if you notice it, it doesn't really need to. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not full all the way but you can see the color really nice through the glass and it's gonna give it a little different look. So that's the first thing you do is just put your glitter in the top. Then I'm gonna take my alcohol swabs and I'm just going to clean up the bottom of my mason jar that I'm using. Open that up. I'm gonna clean that up real good so I get all the oil and grease from my fingers off of there. And then I'm gonna wipe the rim with this. Now, you notice I put the glitter in first before I wiped it. The reason I do that is I don't want any glitter on the rim contaminating that seal that I'm gonna be using. So I put the glitter in first and then I wipe it off to get a good, nice seal on the top. Next thing, we're gonna take out our E6000 glue. Now these are sealed on the top. They've got a metal seal in there. But if you look at the cap, there's a point right in there. You just take that point and push it in and that opens up your glue. So we're gonna take the glue and we're just going to put a small seal or a small dab all the way around the rim of this glue. It doesn't matter if you put too much. But I'll do this and then I'll hold it up close to the camera so that everybody can see this. Let's put the lid back on this before it spills. So what I did is I just put a little dab. It's just enough to coat the top of the, of the candlestick holder. You don't need to put any on the glass itself. It'll seal up nicely. Now what we're going to do is if you look in the bottom of your jar here, there's a little circle. We want that circle to be on the center of our candlestick. So I'm going to look down, put that circle on the center of my candlestick, and I'm just going to set it on there just like that. Now, I'm a perfectionist, so I like to take the octagon shape, and then I'll spin my glass so that a flat side matches up with it just fine. So this is what it looks like so far. So I wanted the flat side here to be on a flat side here. Just something that I do, don't have to do that, it's not necessary. And then I'm gonna take my little level, okay, little bubble level, and I'm gonna set it right on top. And then I'm gonna turn it this way on the jar. So as it's sitting on the table, I'm gonna turn it this way. Then I'm gonna... And what I'm doing is, sometimes those jars are not flat on the bottom. Sometimes they're beveled out a little bit, sometimes they're beveled in. And you want that to be nice and level so when it sits on a counter. So what you're going to do is on my bubble, when I set it just like this, the bubble was a little bit on this side. So I move the jar just slightly that way. It lowers this in and levels it up. So put it on a level table. I'm going to set it like this. Then I'm going to turn it and set it like this. And that one is way up. So let's... And you want to move the glass toward the bubble. So if the bubble is over here, you want to move the glass toward the bubble. I think we're good. Make sure we're still centered up. Perfect. That's exactly how I make my redneck margarita glasses. We've got a big, uh, big group that's going to be coming over the end of May if, if we can all uh, travel around. And uh, I've got several I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna make a couple different styles, plus I'm gonna be making the large ones for my wife and I. So, uh, what I'd also like to hear is, um, we're working on a couple uh, cooking and grilling videos. Um, love to spend, spend time out in my outdoor kitchen. Uh, tonight, I'm actually making some uh, uh, pork loin, some bacon-wrapped pork loin with uh, some fireball pineapple for dessert. 
Uh, we're going to do some filming on that, so I've got a video coming up on that. Uh, our YouTube channel is, is up, definitely up and running. So please go on there and like and, subs like and subscribe to that. It's uh, Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. On, on. I'd like to hear about what type of videos that you'd like to see, either on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page. Uh, I do everything when it comes to cooking from campfire to Dutch oven to tin foil to, to smoking to grilling from charcoal to, to gas. So I'll be doing videos on all of those, but I do appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you for your time on this Saturday afternoon. But this is Coleman on Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. Thank you very much for joining me today.